An Afghan soldier shot dead a US general at an army training center in Kabul, the highest ranking American officer to be killed since the September 11, 2001 attacks. The shooting, which left more than a dozen other soldiers, including a senior German officer wounded, rocked the US-led project to train up the Afghan army as NATO combat forces withdrew after 13 years of fighting the Taliban. Britain scrambled two fighter jets on Tuesday to escort a Qatar Airways plane into Manchester airport after the pilot reported a possible explosive device on board. A passenger was later arrested on suspicion of making a hoax bomb threat. The incident, which prompted the authorities to close the Northern England airport for 25 minutes, briefly raised fears of a terror attack. African leaders taking part in the U.S. African Leaders Summit in Washington have called the Ebola virus a threat against humanity that needs a global response. Troops have been sent out in Liberia and Sierra Leone to impose quarantine on affected communities. And the World Bank and African Development Bank have pledged hundreds of millions of dollars in emergency funds to help struggling national health care systems. Israel pulled its ground forces out of the Gaza Strip on Tuesday and began a 72-hour truce with Hamas, mediated by Egypt, as a first step towards negotiations on a more enduring end to the month-old war. Throughout the day, Israeli armor and infantry withdrew from the Gaza Strip, with a military spokesman saying their main goal of destroying cross-border infiltration tunnels had been completed. Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered his government on Tuesday to prepare retaliatory measures against the latest round of Western sanctions. Under its new sanctions, the EU has restricted access to European capital markets for five major Russian state-owned banks and also targeted Russia's defense and oil sectors. The United States has imposed similar sanctions on three major state-owned banks and one defense company.